Hey, Kamochi's kids. It's Mr. Taylor back with you for another Kamochi's lesson. During our last lesson, we talked about the feeling left out. For this lesson, I want us to give a drum roll on our desks or laps for our Kamochi's friend that will help us learn about our next Kamochi, or in English, our next feeling. Now, everybody give me a drum roll. And here he is. Here's Cloud. And Cloud is here with us to discuss the feeling mad. And here is how you spell the word mad. And here is what mad may look like. Now, you may remember from a previous lesson that just like there are summer days that can quickly turn from clear, sunny skies to a thunderstorm, Cloud can quickly go from feeling happy to mad. Now, I want everybody to show me their mad face. Now, show me your mad hands. Show me your mad feet. And you may not be able to see my feet, but I'm stomping down below. And how about make a mad sound? <clears throat> okay, I want to remind everybody that it's okay to be mad, but it's not okay to be mean. Cloud is here to teach us that it's helpful to tell our friends and family what makes us feel mad. Cloud is going to share some times in which he feels mad. Sometimes I feel mad when somebody comes into my space and acts super silly when I am serious. Sometimes I feel mad when I ask to play with my friends and I'm told that I can't play with them right now. Sometimes I feel mad when I'm very hungry and tired. Thank you for sharing that, Cloud. I know that those are hard to have feelings. Now, remember when Cloud taught us to use a calm down breath when we feel mad so that we are not unkind? Let's all practice that calm down breath. First, listen and watch me, and then you can do it with me. We smell the flower, and then we blow out the candle. Now you do it with me. Smell the flower and blow out the candle. And we'll do it one more time, but without saying the words. Awesome, look at you guys go. And just by doing a few calm down breaths, we often feel lighter or more relaxed and less mad than we did before the calm down breaths. Another tool we can use to help us have mad feelings without being mean are the serious face and serious voice. The serious face and serious voice help others know that what we are saying is very important. With a serious face, we wanna make our eyes big and wide like this. Now you show me your serious face. And with a serious voice, we want to slow down what we are saying like this. I feel so mad. Now you say it with me. I feel so mad. Cloud wants to give us an example of how he uses a serious face and voice with his teachers and friends at school. I feel mad because I dropped my chocolate milk in my lap. Now, a few other tools that I want us to go over that may be helpful when we're feeling mad would be things like asking a teacher or an adult if we can take a few minutes to calm down or taking a walk with the permission of an adult and relaxing our bodies and writing about how we feel 
perhaps in something like a journal. Remember that it's okay to be mad, but it's not okay to be mean. Mad feelings do happen, but when they do, we want to use tools like the calm down breath, serious face and voice, and lastly, we want to choose helping words. For example, we may say something to a friend like, I feel mad when you are in my space and trying to tickle me, even though I ask you politely to please stop. I know you're trying to have fun, but I do not like it when you do that. Please don't do it again. And when we say something like this, we are choosing helping words, assuming the best about others, and being kind by letting others try again or redo the hurtful moment. And we know that these things are all part of being a Komochi's kid, which means we are being respectful, responsible, kind, and resilient. Cloud and I are grateful for the way that you have listened during this lesson. Please take care. Remember that it's okay to be mad, but it's not okay to be mean. And we will see you next time. Kamochi's Kids.